Okay, set number four. Uh, once again, a logic set, and in my opinion, uh, you know, students should have attempted this. Not a difficult one. Could have been done. Uh, probably the second easiest set of the lot. But there were one or two questions that could have been trappy. You should, have, you know, been careful there. But anyway, if you have, if you would have spent something like eight nine minutes, three questions were short. If you are smart and avoided the traps, all five questions could have been done here. So we have a lottery, uh, you know, Mahalakshmi Lottery Incorporated, which runs a different lottery scheme every week, week starting from Monday to Sunday. Uh, they sell lottery tickets on all seven days of the week. The price of the tickets are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 respectively. So very nicely we have every day's cost. Also, there is a certain rule with which someone can purchase the tickets on any day. Let us say a, per a person purchases A tickets on Monday. Then on Tuesday, he must purchase at least 2A. So at least 2A. So second day, it can be 2A or more than that. Third day, it will be more than or equal to 2A plus 3. Similarly, 4A, 4A plus 5. Uh, similarly, 6A, 6A plus 7. Okay. All the above conditions are applicable only if the per person purchases a ticket on that day. Otherwise, he might stop purchasing on any day. So basically, if you purchase, then the rule applies. Otherwise, you can stop. If he doesn't purchase any ticket on any day, then he can't purchase tickets after that day on any day. So basically, what it means is, if I stopped on any day, after that, for that entire week, I cannot purchase. So let us say I purchased on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And on Thursday, I did not purchase. Which means the rest, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I cannot purchase anymore. That's the meaning. Okay. No one can start purchasing the tickets in between a week. So this is again a very important point. You will always start from Monday. You can't randomly say I'll start buying on a Tuesday. So if at all you are there, you are there from Monday. So basically it means it is continuous from Monday till you stop. That is the logic. And there are certain questions. So let's start with the first question. Okay. What is the maximum amount spent by a person on purchasing 20 tickets? So if I want the amount to be maximum 20 tickets, I will keep smaller number of tickets here and I'll keep higher number of tickets on the last day. Why? Because the prices keep increasing on a daily basis. So if I start with one ticket here, I will purchase two tickets here. Okay. And I will purchase two plus three, five tickets here. And I will have to purchase. Now remember, remember total should be 20 so here. Minimum is 4A, but also please keep in mind. There's one more condition given to us. What is the condition? The number of tickets purchased on any day must be more than the tickets purchased on the previous day. So basically I could have gone with four, but because there is a five here, this has to be at least six. It cannot, it has to be more than, not even equal to. So this has to be six. So how many tickets did I use? Six plus five, 11, 11 plus two, 13, 13 plus one, 14. So now I can, I should have a minimum of nine here, but I don't have so many tickets. So I will put all the remaining four tickets, uh, remaining six tickets also here. So I have 12 plus 5, 17, plus 2, plus 1. So this is 10 plus 20, uh, sorry, 20 into 2, 40, plus 5 into 3, 150, plus 12 into uh, 40, so 480. So how much is this? This is 200, 200 plus 6, uh, 480. So total is 680. That is the highest I can reach. Okay, that's the answer. Next question. If someone buys only 8 tickets on day 4, so day 4, eight tickets and buys tickets on all seven days then what is the minimum number of tickets bought by the person very good now if i am buying eight tickets here i can start with one ticket here i can two tickets buy two tickets here and two plus three this will be five tickets then i'm going to eight then if a is one minimum here should be nine right so friday will be nine uh, then Saturday minimum is 6 into 1 but already there is a 9 so I'll keep it as 10 and here minimum will be 6 plus 7 13 so I can keep 13. So what is the total now? Uh, 8 plus 2 10, 10 plus 9 19, 19 plus 1 20, 20 plus 10 30, 30 plus 13 43, 43 plus 5 48 so that is my answer.
ऑप्शन सी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ समन बाइज ओनली एट टिकेट ऑन डे फोर एंड बाइस अ टोटल ऑफ हंड्रेड सो सेम कंटिन्यूएशन एट एंड बाइस बट दिस टाइम टोटल इज हंड्रेड then for at least how many days will they have to purchase the ticket so we are now trying to look at minimum number of purchase of tickets so i can start with 1 i can start continue with 2 and 5 then i bought 4 uh, 8 on day 4 so how many tickets are done 8 5 uh, 12 plus 2 13 14 plus 1 15 i can buy everything else on day 5 and close i'll not buy anything on sunday and saturday so 5 days i lead because i can buy any number of tickets on the next day there's no limit to it so that's my answer this is a very sitter it's a dead easy question question number 19 for a total of 1000 what is the maximum number of tickets a person can buy if one must purchase tickets on at least 3 days so now it's the reverse of the very first question we did the total is 1000 and we want the tickets to be maximum making sure that 3 days he is participating So I cannot say that I'll buy everything on the first day. Then I can buy the hundred tickets on first day and game over. But I will have to be there for minimum three days. So what I will do is I will keep. I'll have to do it in such a way that my cost here is higher than the cost here because here is thirty rupees, twenty rupees, and ten rupees. So what I'll do is let me say a, two a, and two a plus three. So my so a into ten. Into twenty into how much is this thirty? So this will be how much? Ten a plus forty a plus thirty into two a. Uh, this will be thirty into two sixty a plus ninety. This total should be less than or equal to thousand. Okay, less than or equal to thousand. So this will be sixty hundred and ten a uh, less than or equal to nine hundred and ninety. So this will get cancelled. Eleven goes nine times, so a should be less than or equal to nine. So let's see what happens with nine. If this is nine, this is eighteen, and this is eighteen plus three, eighteen, nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-one. So how much is how much am I spending totally? So this is twenty-one into three, six uh, thirty, uh, and then I have eighteen uh, into twenty, so three sixty and ninety. So am I crossing my hundred? I think I am crossing. My hundred eighteen into eighteen into twenty, three sixty, and uh, this is twenty one twenty one into three, six thirty. So zero nine ten fifteen eighteen one six hundred nine ten. Okay, this is increasing. So I I can't have I can't start with nine. Uh, so let me take then eight and see what happens. I'm just looking at what happens with eight. If this is eight, this is sixteen, uh, and this will be sixteen plus three nineteen. So this is uh, 80, uh, 16 into 20. So 16 into 20 is 320, and uh, 19 into 30. 19 into 30, 93 is a uh, 35. 93 is 27. So 570. So what is the total? 1756789970. Great. So I have 30 rupees left. I can buy one more ticket on the last day. So totally it is 20 tickets. Plus sixteen plus eight, so thirty-six plus eight, forty-four is my answer. Okay.